Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. Hey, today we're going to take our safety game from level 0 all the way to a level 10. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So honestly, what happened was it was brought to our attention that we lack in the safety department just a pinch. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Come to find out, uh, fire extinguishers, they're kind of important. Kind of a big deal. And we don't have any. Yeah. I no. mean, if your vehicle catches on fire, that's the last vehicle that you'll, that'll happen to probably. Yeah, that's it. Self-correcting. Yeah. And also, uh, Trevor had a good first aid kit in his truck. Yeah. I, however, had a little backpacking first aid kit <laughs> with basically moleskin and band-aids in it. So. <laughs> Today we are going to uh, up our safety game. So both these fire extinguishers are from H3R Performance and they're both uh, UL rated. They're very, very high quality and the mounts with them are just awesome. Uh, quick yeah. release mounts. There are two different fire extinguishers and they have two different types of fires that they put out more effectively than the other. So the hall guard is gonna be mounted near the driver in the vehicle. And it's going to basically be for engine fires. It requires no cleanup. It's non-corrosive and covers both B and C type fires, flammable liquid and electrical. And also H3R recommends that the max out, which is the second fire extinguisher is located more towards the rear of the vehicle. So in an overland scenario, it'd be at the back of the truck and something happens like a fire gets out of hand because the max out is basically made more towards uh, paper, wood, brush, outside fires, outside of the vehicle fires, you know, anything that would happen in a campground or something that you see you come across, a uh, brush fire of that sort. With the explanations of why there's two different fire extinguishers in front of us out of the way, let's talk about mounting. Now, the mount here, this is the factory mount that comes with it, and it's a very, very basic mount. You can pretty much zip tie this or bolt this kind of anywhere. However, you know, we're kind of cool so we want the cool mounts, and that's the one that Trev's got. Yeah, this one is really cool. And it's not just about the cool factor of having a, a high-speed mount like this. It's about speed and efficiency. It's fast. Because it's kind of it's kind of like in aviation, you know, remove before flight. You just pull this pin, and then the whole mount comes off. The and just like that. Just like that. It just blows up. Yep, just blows up. <laughs> It's really quick and easy. Just pull the pin and without blowing it up, blowing it up. See? Okay. And blew it Didn't up. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so these bolt on to this part with the fire extinguisher and the rings, and then it's right into the hard mount. So it's really easy to install into the mount. All you gotta do is find a place for this thing. Yep, which we're doing right now. Do it. I take it back. We're not doing it right now. So undo it. Do it later. <laughs> the second component to our being safe, like that's important, safety third, uh, is going to be these first aid kits from Adventure Medical Kits. Yeah, I've been running Adventure Medical Kits for years. I mean, since I've been an adult, really. Um, they, Wait, when did that happen? A while ago. Recently. A while ago. <laughs> Still act like a child, but <laughs> legally, yes, legally. All right, child. Um, yeah. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> the Adventure Medical Kits, they make really great first aid kits. Um, we've been using them in our uh, backpacking kits forever. Um, they carry all the essentials in there, everything that you need. Uh, the one that I've been carrying is the family one, but honestly, this one is a much better replacement um, just because it fits the overland um, adventure kind of spirit a little bit better. Yeah, and this was actually on the top 10 Christmas gifts of 2021. Yes. So if you'd like to see, you know, another cool video, I'll put that right here. Beep. No, over his head, probably. <laughs> so this is gonna be the Sportsman 300 and it's actually a really, really nice kit. It's for six people for seven days. Um, there's a trauma kit, there's a medical guide, um, all of the band-aids and tape and irrigation. I mean, it's a really, really a very full kit. Yeah, the nice thing with Adventure Medical Kits is that they give you everything that you need. 
even the instruction manual. Um, this thing is a great read. However, here's, here's what I would say. They put it in the first aid kit if you need it. But if you're dealing with an emergency and you have to read this while dealing with an emergency, you're already messed up. Read it before you get out there. Get some training and everything because first aid is really important because seconds really matter when it comes to, you know, someone's life. Yeah, this, this is definitely a tool. Uh, there's a skill set that needs to go along with it. There are backcountry medical classes you can take. Yeah. Very basic backcountry first aid how to make splints, how to take care of, you know, wounds and punctures and all kinds of good stuff. So seek the training, it will help you and it'll save your life quite possibly. But in the meantime, get yourself one of these kits because these rock, they're very, very complete. Yeah, um, the other thing that I really like about them is their organization, their separation of everything. Um, this one's really cool because in the pocket here, you just rip this out and this is your trauma kit. So if something really bad happens, you have this. And so you can roll up to a car accident and you just grab this. You don't need your band-aids. You don't need your ibuprofen. <laughs> you know, you don't need that stuff when you're rolling up to a car accident. You need stuff to stop bleeding, you know, immobilize patients and help people right away until first responders get there. Um, same thing goes for if you're in the back country and you're going for a hike, you can pull this part out, throw it in your pack. So you're not carrying as much stuff, but you have everything for a major incident. Yeah, and the entire trauma pack is in a waterproof sealed case. Yeah. So you can throw it in your pack and not worry about getting it wet. However, the rest of the stuff, it's weather resistant, but definitely not waterproof. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Yeah. And the nice thing is the rest of it is really cool. It breaks everything up. You have your medicine in one pouch. Uh, so that has a ton of different stuff in there. Um, even um, and the after bite. So you get mosquito bite. It's really bugging you. You put some of that on there and clear it up. Then you have your wound management and your bumps and bruises. This is, this is my kid's section right here. This will probably get the most use out of all of this uh, with the with the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, that's all I need with the kids <laughs> is in this pocket. A comprehensive medical guide goes in the back here, um, but it has some more stuff in there like irrigation. A lot of people, you know, they just dump hydrogen peroxide um, alcohol on it. Don't do that. That's one of the first things they teach you in any of the schools is don't dump that stuff. You're dumping chemical commercial cleaners in, a, in your body, in your skin. So don't do that. Flush it out with clean water and a little bit of iodine. Yep. All right, so the second part of this whole thing is gonna be installing this in our rigs. And we each have different rigs, so there'll be different mounting options for each. So let's get into that section. You mean, do, do it. it. Before we mount this thing into the Forerunner, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it on the bench so it's easier to see. First, the nylon straps, just slide up the bottom. And you wanna make sure that the instructions are able to see, so that way, if somebody has to grab it that may not be familiar with the fire extinguisher, they're still able to use it. And go ahead and pop it onto the mount. Now we take the bolt and the tiny little nut. So these are actually, there's a thread on the mount and it goes through the mount into the strap and then another bolt goes on the end. And that is a four millimeter. Yeah! So these little tiny guys are a quarter inch. It's easier to use the socket to get them on, except when you do that. That's it. Super easy. That is solid. All right, let's get it mounted up in the Forerunner. 
This one's the max out, so this is going in the back of the Forerunner campfires and brush fires and such. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out where you want it. I've already kind of played with it. I'm gonna mount it to the uppermost part of my molly rack. So I can take the mount off and then be a lot easier to install. All the hardware thus far has been uh, supplied. The mounting hardware is not, just because there's so many different variations that these things can be installed. So we came up with some solutions using flat washers with the molly panel and should hold pretty tight. A good little trick when you're trying to get something and you can't hold on to a nut and uh, a washer together, is just tape them together with some painter's tape. Makes it a little easier, but it's still gonna be tricky to hold this thing Whoa, like that. I haven't even got it behind the molly panel yet. This wire here is the tether, so you don't lose the retaining pin once you pull it out. Um, I am just going to wrap it around here. You can also put it through one of the bolts. And then just put the pin in, good to go. Yeah. <laughs> what? The max out is installed in the back of the Forerunner for the forest fires and campfires and such. This one for the interior, the Halgard. We're gonna install this one later. I'm still waiting on the universal mount uh, to mount under the front seat. H3R sent out the universal fire extinguisher seat mount. We're gonna go ahead and install that in the Forerunner. One of the really nice things about this is it's all aluminum. The whole mount is aluminum, so it's really light, really nice quality. Uh, Sans instructions though, uh, you have two mounting options. I think the bigger one uh, works best for the Forerunner. So we're gonna try that one first. First things first, you gotta remove the plastic trim pieces that uh, to get to the bolts. And for the Forerunner, this is a 14 millimeter socket. Because there's no notch in here, you have to actually remove the bolt all the way out of the seat. Uh, there is enough movement in the seat to work this underneath and then just put the bolt back in, tighten her down. Now that we have the brackets on, we're gonna put the arms on. Uh, we're gonna put these on loosely and that way once we attach it to the base, we'll figure out the final fitment and then snug everything down. With the arms installed, the only thing left to do is install the bracket to the top and then I'm not really gonna put this in tight at all because I may have to pull it off to install the fire extinguisher bracket onto there. So we'll play it by ear. And because the arms are long, you've got two different places to mount. You can mount it up high or you can drop it all the way down. So it gives you a lot of versatility and it also adjusts for width as well. So this thing's pretty cool. Now that we have the universal fire extinguisher mount mounted, now it's time to mount the fire extinguisher mount to the seat mount. mount. It's a lot of, <laughs> lot of mount broken. No. <laughs> Now that we have everything exactly where we want it, just gonna torque it down and we're done. And when I mean torque, just gonna tighten it. <laughs> so what do you think? Plenty of room. I doesn't interfere with any of my normal leg positions while I'm driving. I'm gonna try to step out. Good. Smooth as butter. Now we're gonna mount the adventure medical kit in the back of the Forerunner as well. Boom! So I've got my safety trifecta all right in one place. Fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and bottle opener. Now we're moving on to the Tacoma install of all the fire extinguishers. And this is gonna be the one I'm putting in the bed. And this is the max out for brush fire, anything out of control that's not related to the vehicle, this is gonna take care of. And what I did here is I'm going to mount this to the 
um, the T-slot here in the bed rail that's on almost every Tacoma out there. And I just made basically a little plate here to attach to the clamp. And all this is is, I don't know, eighth inch uh, aluminum plate. I just cut, put a bunch of holes in it. Super, super rudimentary. And I'm just gonna use these T-slots here, slide them into the bed rail and mount it up that way. And I'll have a link to all this hardware and everything I used in the description below. Check that out. This install is gonna be super simple. T-slots go on the T-track and bolt it in. The max out is in here in the back of the Tacoma. The mount is super solid. The pull cord is facing down so it's easy to reach. The gauge is easy to read. That is also facing out. And I really like the way this thing came out and hopefully I never have to use it. I'm here at the front of the truck and I'm gonna mount this Hall Gardic fire extinguisher right in the cab. This is the one that is paint safe. It'll take care of an engine fire. It's non-cleanup. This is gonna work really well for anything that happens to this truck. Hopefully this will save it. And of course, I'm mounting this directly to the Desert Does It Molly panel on the seat jacker, which is gonna be right at my feet here on the front part of the driver's seat. It'll be super easy to access and very fast to deploy. Let's get it mounted. So nope, plenty of leg room. I wear a size 10 and a half, 11 shoe, uh, depending on boots or shoes and lots of foot room, lots of leg room, no concerns at all. Even if I catch that, it's protected. Uh, I might make a little cover for it. So in case my heel catches it with mud, I don't want to get the nozzle area all gaked up with mud. So I might end up covering that, but for now it'll work just fine. All right, moving on to the last piece of the safety overhaul on the Tacoma behind me. Now, where I'm gonna put my Adventure Medical Kit Sportsman 300 is really dependent on your rig and where you want it. Um, my boys don't ride my backseat very often anymore. They're adults now. So mainly it's me and my wife with just luggage in the back here. So I'm gonna put this on the back headrest uh, behind the driver's seat. It'll be super visible, really high up in the vehicle. It's red, it's very easily recognized as a first aid kit. And if I'm injured away from my vehicle, I can tell someone where it's at. They'll find it very quickly. And if I'm knocked out in the driver's seat, hopefully they'll see it and be able to treat me with this. Now for mounting, I'm gonna mount it to the back headrest of the back seat behind the driver on the driver's side. And I'm just using an assortment of Velcro straps. I just got these off Amazon. I had to connect two to get around the headrest, the two metal prongs that, for the headrest to go on. And then I got a long Velcro strap here. And again, I'll put the link to all of these uh, assorted mounting solutions in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And that's it. I've got the Hall Guard fire extinguisher mounted right underneath my feet here in the front of the vehicle to protect any fires in the vehicle or fires in someone else's vehicle. I've got the Max Out H3R uh, in the back of the vehicle for any forest fires or dumpster fires or a campfire that got out of control or something else that is just burning that is out of control that's not a vehicle. And I've got my Adventure Medical Kit Sportsman 300 for personal aid, any kind of medical issues, a trauma kit. My vehicle is set for whatever I might come across or whatever might happen to me. And let's face it, Murphy's Law says that if you don't have it, you're going to need it. So now I have it and hopefully I won't need it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to take your personal safety and the safety of your vehicle and everything around you seriously, because if you don't, you might get caught short and nobody wants that to happen. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Follow us on IG and I'll see you guys next time. That was your cue. Damn it. That was your cue. I, was, I, did, the, yeah. I did the 10. You had one fucking 10. Job. A fucking 10. <laughs> You're not a 10. <laughs> Overdo it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucked it up too many times. I, All right. I, I was, I was I right there. I jumped I was right on. there. You did. That's what I said. It's true. That doesn't it's make any it's true. sense. <laughs> <laughs> you put the fire out early. It puts the fire out early. Uh, whatever. <laughs> God. Oh. Such a jerk.